Good morning. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I hope that you're doing well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about dealing with disappointments. Have you ever went into your pantry to grab a little snack and you get your favorite pack of cookies, open it up only to find that it's completely empty and it's an empty package? What do we feel? Disappointment. How about, have you ever went into a store and you see the perfect shoe that you want and it's on sale. So you start looking through the sizes. You see the size above your size, the size below your size, but they don't have your size. Disappointment. How about for my fishermen? You're reeling in a fish. You see the monster flop up and you see how big he is. But before you can get him into the boat, somehow he gets off the hook. Sheer disappointment. Am I right? So these are all silly, lighthearted examples of disappointments, but disappointments can come in all shapes and sizes. Anytime that our hopes are let down or our expectations and desires are not fulfilled, we feel disappointment. And I know that many people of all ages are dealing with disappointment right now, brought on by our circumstances that we're going through. Maybe disappointment of special events that we've missed out on, or maybe a trip that you had planned, or maybe just disappointment from the day-to-day -day things, not being able to go to your job that you need to go to, or not being able to visit with your friends and your family when you want to. These are all types of disappointments that we're dealing with right now. Disappointments can be just a passing emotion of a temporary loss. And sometimes they hit us deeper, more powerfully when something happens or disappointment happens that changes your life permanently. All of these, no matter what size or what happens, they can all be disappointments that can get us down. The Bible tells us in John, in this life, we will have troubles. We all experience disappointments at some time. Disappointment is common to people. If you look at the Bible, the Bible is full of disappointed people, but they came through it. For years, Sarah, Rebecca, Hannah, and many others couldn't have children that they longed for. Job, he lost every last thing that he had. Joseph was sold into slavery by his own family. All of these people experienced disappointments. Feeling disappointed within itself is not a sin, but it's how we handle those disappointments is very, very important. And that's what I want to talk to you and encourage you with this morning. Disappointments can be the first dart that attack our faith. Disappointments sound so harmless, but if we leave them undealt with, it could harm or even stop our spiritual growth. If we continue to dwell on those disappointments, we can become discouraged and eventually be defeated. And we don't want that. And the good news is there is something that can keep us from ending in defeat because of our disappointment. Thanksgiving is the antidote to disappointment. No matter what we're going through, we can find something to be thankful for. First Thessalonians says, always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belongs to Jesus Christ. So that's it. What do we have to do? We have to be thankful. Thanksgiving is the antidote to disappointments. Here are a few other scriptures that I wanna um, share with you that we can hang on to. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, 
by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Here's one of my favorites. Romans 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose. And the last scripture that I want to leave you with is 1 Chronicles 16, 34. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good and His love endures forever. So in life, we're all going to face disappointments, big, small. But remember that Thanksgiving is our antidote to disappointment. Our disappointments don't have to end in defeat. So stand on God's promises and give thanks to our wonderful Savior in all things and in all circumstances. I hope that you got something out of this today and I hope that everybody is doing well. I miss you guys and I can't wait until we can get back together to worship. Have a great day.